explained the mantis shrimp punch. The punch that a mantis shrimp can deliver is unparalleled by any other creature in the animal kingdom. Their club-like appendages have a rate of acceleration that is greater than that of a bullet fired from a cannon, and a single blow from one of these can rip the arm off a crab or burst through the shell of a snail. It has been documented that these diminutive yet powerful crustaceans have triumphed over octopuses. How does the mantis shrimp defend itself with a strong impact? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start the video. Biologists have long been captivated by the question of how mantis shrimp managed to produce such lethal and lightning fast movements. Recent developments in high speed imaging have made it possible to view and measure these strikes, although some of the underlying mechanisms have not been fully comprehended yet. Now, a multidisciplinary team consisting of roboticists, engineers, and biologists have analyzed the mechanics of the punch that the mantis shrimp uses and constructed a robot that imitates the movement. This discovery not only elucidates the biology of these feisty crustaceans, but also paves the way for the development of little but powerful robotic devices. The mantis shrimp, a crab about the size of a cigar that has front claws that can throw an explosive punch traveling at 60 miles per hour, holds the title of the mini-weight boxing champion of the animal world. It has been said that the speed at which a mantis shrimp strikes is comparable to the speed at which a bullet exits the barrel of a rifle. A study conducted by Duke University that looked at the evolution of mantis shrimp over the course of 80 million years revealed how the little animal's fast weapons developed into a bewildering array of shapes while still managing to pack a characteristic punch. These shapes included spiny and barbed spears, hatchets and hammers. According to Philip Anderson, this research gives new information on how these extraordinary movements arose. How can the mantis shrimp achieve their goals? Anderson and Sheila Patek, another researcher at Duke, have been looking at a total of 200 distinct variants, which represent 36 different species. They discovered that these powerful little animals employ a system of biological springs, latches and levers to power their fast punches. This allows them to strike far more swiftly than would be conceivable if they relied solely on the force of their muscles. Stomatopods, sometimes known as mantis shrimp, are a prehistoric class of marine predators that are only distantly related to other crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp, and lobsters. They have a strong preference for living in the shallow waters of tropical oceans. However, there are a few species that can be found in more temperate regions. In spite of the fact that they are commonly known as shrimp or mantids, these creatures are neither of those things. Instead, they are known by their common name of the similarities between them and praying mantises as well as shrimp. Kinematic transmission is the name given to the mechanical feature that describes how well each specimen was able to transmit force and motion to the section of the claw that swings out to smash or spear its prey. The team made precise measurements and calculated each specimen's capacity to do so. The researchers found an evolutionary tendency they call mechanical sensitivity when they mapped their measurements onto the family tree of the shrimp. This pattern indicated that the specific sections of the mantis shrimp claw were more strongly related to the changes in strike mechanics than others. This was the case for the species of shrimp known as mantis shrimp. There are several many varieties of mantis shrimp, each of which has been able to develop its own unique set of claws without any of them losing any of its signature punching ability. This is it everyone, so what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.